Welcome guys, Chaos Mikey here. Let me bring you something a little bit better than those $10 headphones. Upgrading the Mac Pro SSD. Here we have the Apple 256 gigabyte SSD built from the factory. Well, I've had enough of running out of space. I bring you the HP EX920 solid state drive that we're just gonna whoop, plop in there. Uh, this guy brings us read speeds of, uh, forgot. Anyway, this guy is going in this guy. I also have a processor lined up for this guy. Uh, that will probably be the next video. Uh, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications for that. It, if it's anything like my last videos, it will probably be very boring and dry. I apologize. This guy does not natively just fit in there. Turn on the power button. Dun, and work. You need a uh, adapter that I bought off eBay. It is a Syntec and it includes a screw and the board. And I have this guy just in case because uh, we might put this guy and this guy to write Mac OS Mojave to this guy to install into here. I am hoping to just use this guy and a MacBook Air. Um, boot this as a Thunderbolt external drive, copy it here and boot up and hopefully it works. I don't have a display. Uh, we need one of those hex screws. Let's try a T15, too big. T9, too big. T8, T7. Goldilocks said that's just right. Unscrew. Nice factory torque. Very nicely. Has Loctite on it. Um, just so you know, didn't back up my data. Don't know what I'll lose. I'm gonna take this opportunity to pull out this guy and we'll compare them. Comes out with a nice pull tab. Has a screw. Phillips as well. Writing will be upside down. But there you go. Differences. Jesus. Did I chip it? Or is that dust? That better be dust. I don't think I chipped it. There's that guy. Um, has a heat shield on it. Heat shield. It's not coming through, coming into our atmosphere. Heat sink on it to help with temperatures. Other people online have said they haven't needed one. That was brilliant. Rip this guy open. Has some foam pads. Blank. First off, quality check. These guys do line up. That's good news. Okay, can we go down further? I'm just pushing down and... Oh, there it goes. Nothing like, what, 15 pounds? Just hold in, just open without the case on. <gasps> okay, I really did drop it. It's not the worst thing I've done to it. It does work pretty well as a candy corn dish. Here, let's get a close up of the drive. There's the front, there's the back. Put you in. Hello! Ba -ba 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 -ba. You can use it as a metronome. Metronome? Music making, Morse code. Probably shouldn't do that. I might break something. They gave me a screw, but I'm gonna try to use the factory screw. I hope that works. Dang it. I thought you were magnetic. Come on, Fred. Nothing like shaky nervous hands. It ain't gonna work. Oh, it does work. I bought this SSD back in March, intending to do this, but I don't want to go too much because I don't want to break it. 
And so I'm probably out of return policy, so if this doesn't work, yikes. Theory, we boot it up and hold T. And see if it beeps. Good. Erase. Don't use. Done. Target disk mode. Did you seriously get change that? What? Is it working? What's that? Oh, we're done. Okay. Pull this out. Stick it in. Turn it on. Option key. What? You were right there and then you went there. What are you doing? Okay, now can I install? Continue. Let's go. Do I have activity monitor? No, I don't. Do I have terminal? Probably do. Great. <gasps> I can install. Three minutes. Speedy little guy. Yes, my head is very comfortable like this. What are you doing? There we go. Good boy. 15 minutes. We'll do one. Nice. Really nice. There you go, guys. SSD upgrade in a 2013 Mac Pro. Comment below if you have any questions or want me to go over anything. Also, be sure to like and subscribe, especially in my next video of the processor upgrade. Nothing can go wrong there, right? <gasps> I hope it's saved. Oh, I forgot to save the screen recording.